cuties what's up Kara Ray here and welcome back to my channel so today's video is a video that I have wanted to film for a really long time now and I honestly don't know why it's taken me so long to get around to filming it but it is my hair trimming routine video how I trim my own hair at home I get a lot of questions when I'm out and about about my hair. I can always make a video talking more about my hair if that's something you guys want to see. But for now, I feel like trimming my hair is one of the main reasons that my hair is able to continue to grow and my hair can maintain a long length. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys how I do it because I think when people hear the word trim, they get nervous because they think like, oh my gosh, it's going to be so in depth. But the way I do it, it's really not. I'm not a hairdresser, I'm not a hairstylist, I've never been licensed in this, so please take my advice at your own risk. Um, but this is just what works for me, so that's why I wanted to share this with you guys and I don't know, maybe give you someone else out there the confidence to trim their own hair at home as well. So I've probably been trimming my own hair for the past five years. Sometimes my sister helps me with my hair, sometimes my boyfriend will help trim my hair. It just depends, but mainly I'm the one that does it. I do it twice, um, once in the winter months and once in the summer. Since I'm trimming it in the spring now, I probably won't trim it again until like around late summer or fall. I will say I do trim my hair as needed, so if I'm styling my hair and I notice that a lot of split ends or I just don't like the way my ends are looking, I'll go ahead and trim it. I literally will just trim as much as I feel necessary and sometimes my trims turn into a mini haircut. So yeah, we'll see how this session goes today. If you guys are interested to see how I trim my own hair at home, then make sure you keep it. Alright, so first I'm going to talk about the tools that I use when I'm trimming my own hair. I also use a hair tie from time to time, a comb, you're going to need a comb for sure. I like wide tooth combs because it's just less stressful on your hair, and a pair of hair cutting scissors. How I like to start my hair trimming is by parting my hair. So I'm going to part my hair down the middle, and my hair is really dirty by the way, so sorry, you have been warned. Okay, so once my hair is parted, now you're just going to want to detangle each side. Okay, so now that my hair is detangled, or as detangled as it's going to get right now, I'm going to show you where my hair is currently in length. So from the front, my hair is currently hitting my hips. These are my hip bones right here, and my hair is just past or touching my hips all right so from the back my hair is touching right at my the top of my butt or my tailbone is where my hair is touching I like to just eyeball my ends and this lighting is really good but you're obviously gonna want to be in front of a mirror I'm using a small mirror right here and I have another mirror over here that I'm also looking at but I just kind of eyeball my ends and see what I want to get rid of. I always start with less and then as I need to, I will continue to trim more if necessary. But for now, I believe I'm going to just do this much right here. I'm going to trim that. So as you can see, I just trimmed that end right there. I like to keep my hair as even as possible, so I like to kind of eyeball it and do the same thing on the other side. So, so far I've trimmed this much hair and lengthwise I'll grab a chunk. It looks like that not too much I'd say probably about an inch uh, maybe a little over inch is what I've trimmed so far so that was kind of how I trimmed the length of my hair so the longest parts of my hair if you will so now I'm gonna show you how I trim the top portion of my hair and this trick I actually found while watching another youtuber how they do layers so 
I'm not really doing it for layers per se, but it does give a nice layered effect when I do it this way. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just brush all of your hair to the top of your head, the very top of your head, and then you're going to um, tie it off with a hair tie and clip it that way. So let me show you how I do it. from the top of my hair I also took another inch off now since my hair is currently straightened and I usually keep it curly this is a good enough trim for me because once I revert my hair back to curly I'll probably go in and add some small trims here and there to make more of a symmetrical curly look so here is and some of this is for me combing out my hair but this is as much hair as I've trimmed I'd say I probably trimmed about a good inch to maybe two inches in some places and so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys standing up what my hair looks like right now So I hope you guys enjoyed my hair trimming video. Again, I am not a hairstylist, so I'm not telling you that this is the way to trim your hair. This is just how I do it and it works for me. So I figured I'd share it with you guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below what you thought of my hair tutorial. If you wanna see more natural hair tutorials, let me know. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss an upload. And until my next video, thank you so much for watching. Bye.